I'm a simple man. I believe if you do A plus B, the result will always be C. I think we tend to overcomplicate things. That's why the debate over the used game market is so frustrating to me. If you want to see the road the video game industry is going down, take a look at the music industry. A couple of years before Napster, people were complaining about the cost of CDs. If it wasn't on sale, you were paying as much as $17 for a CD, and you were only paying for two or three quality songs. The other eight songs you never really listened to, except for once or twice. Then Napster came along and changed the game. It was flawed, but it opened the door for other companies and programs to take what they had started and improve on the idea. Companies and programs like Apple and iTunes. iTunes was amazing when it first started. 99 cents for each song and only about $10 for the whole album. But how would you listen to these songs, people asked. I don't want my computer to be my stereo. Well, you will in a couple years, said Apple. But for now, how about this? It's a portable MP3 player and you download all your music onto it and listen to it wherever you go. And not just four or five albums, no, you can put your whole collection on it. We'll call it the Pocket Box Man. No, the iPod. Long story short, everyone now has an iPod or an iPhone or just a smartphone that plays all their music and the brick and mortar music stores have either closed down or they're struggling. Now let's look at the video game industry. For some time now, the complaint about the used game market is that the publishers and developers of the game don't see a dime when a used game is sold. That wouldn't be a problem if the used market wasn't so huge. But what has happened? Well, now you have digital distribution. Each console has their own online shop where you can download the games. Let's cut to the chase. We all know this is the future. It may not happen for another generation or so, but everyone seems to agree that the physical market will be going away. And what are the brick and mortar game stores doing about it? As far as I can tell, they're doing the same things the music stores did. Nothing. They're just going on, business as usual, and knowing full well what lies ahead. Now I could go on and on about this. This is a huge subject. So here's what I want to do if I make it to E3. I would love to be able to talk directly to the publishers and developers and ask them about the used game market. I don't want to show my hand yet, but there seems to be an easy solution to the problem that could keep storefronts open and maybe drive costs down. E3 is the best place to get an idea if this will work or not. Yeah, I want to go to E3 to see all the new games, all the systems, all the craziness that is E3. But I also want to go to see if I can get an answer to one question. Can the physical game market be saved?